Yeah, I, I love that I got to follow the thank yous to the students. And I love that I got to follow the ideas from the students about creating a conference for learning that's by students and for students. Um, my talk today is about the buoyant force, a force in learning that can help drive us to be better. And it's all about what the students can do and what's at the heart of their learning. So let's get going. This picture here is my daughter. She's a young learner, but she's learned how to dive. We took her to Lombok in Indonesia, where her mother and I got engaged uh, many, many years ago. We'd never been back since we got engaged. And it was wonderful that we could bring her there and her little brother when she was old enough to be able to do this safely. She was super excited by it. And even though she's only in middle school, she has this experience that's driving her to want to do more. We're going straight back as soon as we can. Thinking through this and how much life has changed over the last 13 years, it made me think about what happens when we're underwater and we look up and we blow a bubble and that it rises up towards the top. This bubble as it goes, it's expanding and it's accelerating. Its path might wobble along the way, but its journey is relentless and then eventually it hits the surface and pop, it's released into the atmosphere. And to me, that, thinks, that makes me think about the continuum of learning through our schools. These bubbles that form, this idea that starts and rises towards the top. I love it. The buoyant force is a force that acts in a fluid and pushes things upwards. And I feel like that's what we are. That's what our schools are for these learners. The thing that raises us up. It's strong enough to keep a large ship afloat on the ocean. It provides the force that allows a little kid to go fishing on a block of styrofoam. It's also a habitat and a place where the biggest and most majestic animals on our planet can survive and raise their families. Without this buoyancy, none of this is, uh, is possible. John Dewey talked about reflection being key to learning, and we reflect on our experiences. An experience can be the moving force that drives us to want to learn through the hard work. I think about the experiences that we create for our kids. Did they create this buoyancy that pushes them upwards? Those children that we're working with from very young to older students, they're not just one thing. They're many things and they're racing upwards too. Their beliefs and identities and languages and cultures and skills and concepts that they have understandings of. Their desires and motivations and all of this is rising up through our schools. Sometimes it causes turbulence in the water, and we have to be okay with that. So what's our role as educators on the journey of these learners? Sometimes they just pass us by, and we get out of the way. Sometimes we can infuse them with the enthusiasm and the ideas and the inspiration to expand faster, to move faster, to become better. We have these amazing experiences for our learners. I think about things like the PYP exhibition or the MYP personal project. I think about what those students just did today for us. What happens to those experiences next? Do we honor those skills? Do we honor those drives? Or do they make a transition through the school which disregards what they can do? We worry a lot about backwards mapping and making sure that they're ready for the next stage. But what if we're casting a net over the side of the boat and that net is sinking down, capturing things on its way? Do we worry too much about the things that we can catch and measure? The stuff that will fit inside our net? What happens when that's taken all the fish out of the sea? Those nets look suspiciously like schedules and rubrics. We think about childhood as being a non-renewable resource. And time with our children, we can't get back. Are we making the very best of our time with our learners and using their learners' buoyant force to drive up through our continuum? What if they've learned something amazing that could make us stronger as they rise? I think about the opportunities that we have to help propel them through the surface of the water, beyond our schools, into a turbulent world but a world where they can navigate it and enjoy it and maybe even surf those waves like the dolphins. So I finish by thinking about my daughter and my son. 
I think about what waits for them as they go through learning over the next few years of their life. And it makes me wonder, instead of thinking about, are they ready for us when they come up? We should be thinking, are we ready for them? Thank you.